How important do you think outreach is becoming in inspiring young people? Uh, I think it's really, it's necessary right now because what we're finding is even with them having access to information, some of it is misinformation. And unless they have a trusted adult, somebody who knows and cares about them and will try to give them the best advice and not mislead them, um, it's necessary. And that's hard to find on the internet. That's hard to say that that can be done on the internet. That needs to be people in the community. It needs to be the gatekeepers of the community doing that work. And these people are already in these communities. And for us as organization, I think we need to tap into that you know, tap into the people that are already doing the work and add space to that. So bring space to the communities, you know, be adaptable and being able to pop up somewhere at the park because the kids are out on the summer stage playing. Uh, and then they can then start talking and be like, oh my God, what's going on over there? And it's gonna be like, oh, okay, then this is space, what is space? Even if they're not interested in it, they yeah. will be curious enough to ask questions will then push their interest and I think it's important that we do the outreach work as best and as genuine as possible I wouldn't want space or the way you do space to change I would want you to try to find a way to meet the needs of the community with the needs of the space world to find a, a middle ground or an overlap where we can all exist in a really genuine and authentic way because I think sometimes when we try to go out into communities. We try so hard to be like them or do what they're doing rather than bring mm -hmm. what we're already doing to them and to show them that it can also be done another way. Like what Sharon said, like, you know, I didn't know that you can do a job like hers until <laughs> I heard about her and I looked into her and I was like, oh my God, it's a real job. Oh my God, and it's an amazing job. And oh my God, she's this amazing person, 20 years and I've read it. I'm like, wow, I didn't know about this. So. Um, I think it's really important that we're exposed to that world because for me, this is an exposure. I'm being exposed to this world right now, live. <laughs> um, and it's amazing. And I'm trying to take it all in at the same time and still be professional, but it's hard. <laughs> yeah, no, so I think it's really important. I think these things happen and these discussions happen, especially virtually, because this wouldn't be able to happen in person. So it's an amazing thing to be able to do it virtually. So that's another point. So you find the bonus points in whatever method works. You know, uh, me and Steve was having the conversation the other day where he spoke about how he would go to his friend's house to eat jollof rice and every time it would be different. And he asked why, and they said, well, we don't have a recipe. We make it different every time. And I like to think of outreach work like that. It's a different recipe. You get a different outcome every time, but you're always working with different kinds of people. So I think that's the type, best type of approach to take to it.